Good morning and welcome back to one of our favourite parks in Europe. We're back here at the beautiful Efteling, where the park is open from 10am until 11pm. It's their summer event tonight, isn't it? I'm really looking forward to experiencing this park again. Even though it was only last year uh, during the winter event, it was absolutely freezing. We was actually here in the snow. And uh, go back and check out the vlog if you've not seen it uh, from November um, last year. Uh, but yeah, Charlotte's not been here for a little bit longer than that. It was it's September, been, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, September like, not last year, the year before. So it's been like a year and a half. Yeah, it's been, been a year. little while, hasn't it really? I love f so much. It's a beautiful park, really it is something for two days we're only going to get to see the highlights really today it certainly is a two-day park um, however you know we're going to get to go in and see all the summer events go on some of our favorite rides of course as always with everything on this trip we can uh, take you on board for the ride and uh, yeah it'd be a good day to go on the water coaster as well uh, the rapids uh, yeah the water coaster the flying dutchman is incredible here and obviously that's a ride and the rapids as well that aren't open during the winter event so it's been a little while since i've been on those especially flying dutchman look forward to riding that other highlights will include some live entertainment around the park this evening uh, we'll go and watch Ravelin, uh, one of our favourite shows, and of course Aquanora, the large fountain show, uh, which looks even better at night. These fountain shows are designed for in the dark, aren't they really? Uh, but yeah, I can't wait. What are you looking forward to most? Seeing Pardus. Yeah, we love the mascot, don't we, here at uh, Aftelin. And uh, yeah, join us for our day here at the park. It's going to be a long one, 13 hours, uh, but plenty of time uh, to get on loads of different rides here at the park. And uh, have a good day. So we're going to make our way over, just to point out in terms of tickets, today if you've got a Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Europa Park and a couple of other different uh, annual passes you do actually get a free day uh, at Efteling so brilliant we've isn't it? Free day. We've got a free day today so we're going to go and sort that out now over in the wonderful building the entrance structure just behind us that is gorgeous and uh, you've not seen this park at night before have you so no. it's got some extra magic some really nice lights and um, in the entrance building here it all twinkles at night all the little lights in there it's wonderful it really is sun cream's going on we're over another hot day but luckily plenty of dark rides on offer here today including Symbolica one of my favorites out oh, there in the world so Fata Morgana really enjoy right. that Good dream night. flights loads to look forward to lots of air conditioning hopefully yeah. and now uh, I should uh, keep us a bit cooler let's go and get our tickets and make our way into the Efteling Oh, it's wonderful to be back here inside the park and we're all sorted, very friendly staff, so easy to sort out, just went there with a pass, knew exactly what he was doing, uh, yeah all sorted, worth pointing out car parking has gone up to €12.50 um, but obviously that's the only outgoing for us isn't it today so yeah. you know these parks, do I agree with the car parking charge, no, uh, but most parks these days do charge for when parking, you, don't they? Got a group though, like me and Sean just paid half each, and it's six. You just split it, don't you? Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's been a few changes at the entrance actually. They've took out some more of the uh, ticket kiosks just because obviously a lot more people book online now. There's no need to have loads of kiosks there. Um, so it means that it's cleared the entrance quite nicely. You can walk straight through to the turnstiles a lot easier. And they've also, I've just shown you in that panning shot, uh, put like some vinyl stickers uh, on the glass windows at the top um, in, the, in the entrance building, which just makes it look even more pretty really. That's the thing with these parks, they're always doing enhancements to make them look even better. And in terms of a crowd level, this is actually really quite quiet. Uh, which is good. You'll so you'll never guess who we've just saw in the gift shop. <laughs> we've just seen the oh, mascot. We've just seen Pardus. He's so cute. I might buy him. <laughs> and Charlotte's going to be buying something special later. Yes. We'll uh, keep you in suspense. But Charlotte wanted it last time. I think you might have mentioned it in the vlog last time. Actually, I can't remember. But if you did, we'll uh, we'll mention it later on. But I think we're going to head straight to Baron first. Baron eighteen ninety eight. Or I know you all want me to say it, don't you, you viewers? Baron Acton Acton Akinen. There you go. <laughs> So we're just going to wait for these gates to open. How it works here at Eftelin, they let everybody in uh, and then the gates will all open at 10 o'clock. So here we go, 13 hour day on park. Ah, oh, it's always wonderful to see this fantastic attraction again. Here she is, Barrow, 1898. The BM dive coaster that opened back in 2015. And here we go, first ride of the day. Whoa. So yeah, they do have early ride time here, which is for hotel guests and other selective visitors as well. Um, but yeah, it looks like we walk on straight in. It's always a good call coming here first, getting on the Baron, 
and then it's done isn't it especially with it being a hot day as well um, you know want to make sure we're getting on some of these rides and, and getting on them before the uh, before the <laughs> heat gets to its maximum yeah oh, this, is, this is a hose pipe Charlotte attach your hose pipe onto Baron right here we go it's gonna have a ride wonderful attraction this we'll see you in the pre-show <laughs> Stunning pre-show there. We'll now make our way to the onboard show. overall experience and it was also air conditioned so I like that yeah. <laughs> all right here we go front row oh look at that mist here we go What a fantastic package of a ride. Baron Agnechnen. I'm sure I get worse at doing that every time. Right then, so we just come off Baron. How was it, Charlotte? See, I always said when we came before that I didn't find it very forceful, but I actually found that ride quite forceful. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was really good. I think because it's so hot, that's really helped yeah, with that ride. Like, it was running really fast brilliant. around some of the elements and the helix towards the end of the yeah. ride. Oh my God, like it blew me away yeah. that day. I thought that, that's the best ride I've ever had on Baron. Such what a, a brilliant ride. experience it's on amazing. there. It's not the quickest in terms of loading because of all the pre-shows and how it's set up. It does take a little bit longer than it would do if the queue just moved straight into the station. However, that ride is all about the experience, isn't it? And uh, yeah, talking about experience, this is gonna be our last ever ride on this roller coaster. It's Bob and this opened in 1985 and it was built by Intamin. And yet this is really, really sad. Uh, we thought we'll come here early because it does get a big queue, this. Uh, and yeah, oh, we're not too bad at all. I'll be right down here, which is good. Um, it's a 10 minute wait. Yeah, brilliant. So this is going to be our last ride on it because it is going to be closing within the next few weeks. Like, it's literally a matter of weeks, not months, to make way for a new ride, which is going to be manufactured by Mac Rides. And it's going to be a, a family coaster. So they're going to be keeping the station uh, by extending it, doing a few modifications, and then putting in a brand new ride. The reason behind that is that Bob has come to the end of its life and it's had a lot of problems over the years. Obviously when it rains as well, 
can't really operate. It's you know it's had a lot of issues, and obviously it's had uh, its run here at the park. It is a classic. I'm sad to be losing it, and it's always really weird thinking this is going to be your last time going on something. But in a way, it kind of makes it worse when you know that something's closing because you know that it's going to be your last go. Uh, you know, and obviously like Wild Mouse, for example, back at Blackpool Pleasure Beach uh, in the UK, nobody had time to be upset because the park just ripped it out. Uh, and as much as this is the better way, giving you uh, a bit of an advance warning so you can come and have your last memories on it, it's quite sad to think we're going to be losing this uh, classic ride here at Italian. But there we go. Normally this park really likes to keep their classics. Look what they did with Python a couple of years ago, completely retracking it. I'm sure with this, if you could do, they would. But obviously, you know, these things aren't around anymore. They don't make them. Um, so yeah, it's going to be good to have this final ride on Bob. Come along on the GoPro and uh, yeah, let's go and share this ride together. So we've just had our last ride ever on Bob. How Bob. was it, Bob? Oh, it's such a good ride, that is. Bob, Bob. Bob. Bobby, yeah, no, Bob. brilliant. Really good, but I understand, you know, a bit of a maintenance nightmare for them now. And it's time to move on. But yeah, in 2020, so next year, they're not messing about. Max and Moritz will be opening. And that's the name of the new ride replacing it. Bit of information for you. Like I say, it's going to be built by Mac and they're going to be reusing that stage and it'll be two tracks. So yeah, I'm sure we'll be back next year at some point to come and check that out uh, when we make our way back to the Netherlands. Anyway, up next, we're going on one of me and Charlotte's favorite rides. We love this. It's Flying Dutchman and this is incredible. It's a water coaster uh, built by Comeback, opened in 2007. It was supposed to open for 2006, I believe, but they're having some issues. So they actually got Intamin uh, in to come and help with the, uh, some of the issues they were having. I think it was on the lift still and a couple of other parts uh, but yeah here we go welcome to this wonderful ride it's gorgeous isn't it i absolutely adore this ride it's a ride where the gopro really doesn't do it justice because the best part is indoors and obviously gopros aren't amazing are they in the dark um, but you know it is great in there all the special effects the audio and uh, yeah i think we're going to be queuing a little bit for this one but it's only 20 to 11 we've got straight in and done baron and bob and um, the two b's because both of them normally have slower throughput baron so i thought <laughs> we'll get on them nice and early but the experience on this ride is just incredible sensational. it is sensational and it's the smaller things on this that really counts and the soundtrack's amazing let's go on the flying dutchman Here we go, so it was advertised a 20 minute wait for the Flying Dutchman and we've waited about 10 minutes and they've been getting these boats out really quick because it's walk on now. Like I said, I don't think you're going to see much on the GoPro here, but I'll put a little bit of footage in and here we go. Oh dear. 
one of the main effects isn't working there. Normally the room is full of mist. That's a shame. I must say, I'm a little bit disappointed there. Yeah, like the mist really made that one. Yeah, that is, every vlog we've filmed from here, we've said, the mist, the mist, that's the best scene. It wouldn't have picked up on the GoPro, but you could actually tell you was in a, a blank room there. Like, never seen it like that before. That's a real shame, isn't it? Like, because the whole idea is that the reason you've got this light on the front of the boat is that that's your only light. And normally the mist is like creeping off the water. And like you can hardly see, no. you can hardly see the person like next to you, yeah. and then you've just got like that light that, that glows. So that's a real shame. I hope Estelle and do get that sorted out. Still a brilliant ride, and like I say, even though it looks like we're in a trough now, we're not. And if you watch the uh, winter vlog from here, you'll see it when this lake was drained, and the track that you see there on the actual water coaster continues all the way underwater and it's the same through the indoor sections as well um yeah it's amazing the fact that you're not in a trough you are actually running on a track and as much as it looks like a trough here with this concrete um it's not you know you have actually got this track underneath but yeah it's a shame because that really does add so much to it it's a gorgeous ride it's beautifully themed looks great from outside got a fantastic queue line soundtrack uh, and still the massive water curtain and everything's impressive but yeah my favorite scene in there just wasn't right today let's hope they get that sorted That ride look absolutely gorgeous like over the lake there that stunning building with all the theming on yeah just a shame about them effects makes a big difference doesn't it yeah it does thank you to the staff member <laughs> on the end of joe's so just squirting in water you've cooled me down yeah I, I couldn't have a squirt because i was wearing the gopro ah! so i won't squirt you it's, it's waterproof don't worry uh but here we go right charlotte you're about to get two new coaster credits She's never been on Yoris before. And I'm saying it Yoris with a Y because I've been told in the comments a lot that that is how you're supposed to pronounce this. It's not Joris, it's Yoris. Like Yoris, like you're saying it like that. So I don't know, I'm trying my best for you guys. I try my best. I never talk over a roller coaster. I want to learn Dutch, to be honest. I'm really, I'm going to try and make it my mission over the next few years to learn about Dutch. I'd love to be able to go up to a staff member and ask for something in Dutch. The reason that Charlotte's never done this before is when we was here last time with Charlotte, um, it was supposed to be open, uh, however it was uh, like a maintenance period, and when we booked it we thought you were going to get it, but unfortunately you didn't. So what do you want to start with first? Red or blue? I'm going to start with red, so it's got a good soundtrack this ride. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. And it's walk on, let's go. So what's quite cool about this ride, it's got some really nice effects here in the station. So because the blue side has just won, all these come down from the ceiling and you get all cheers. This side's the loser and you get all booze and the flags don't come down. So we're going to do both sides, Charlotte needs to get both credits. We're going on the front row. The rule with that ride is you have to blow your trumpet when you dispatch. There we go. So the park's GCI wooden roller coaster opened in 2010. It replaced another wooden roller coaster that used to stand on this site called Pegasus. But they wanted one bigger, so they built this. Here we go.
we go, Blues, the winner, that moves across. We lost. Oh, no, we'll have to go around and try the other side now. On George and the Dragon. Yeah, right off we go. I am loving the fact they are squirting people with super soakers and spray bottles. It's so much fun. It's also worth pointing out that Yoris is now a bags on ride. Bags go just down here. So we're done fire. Let's see how water is. Let's go. On the back row. It's going to be fast. I can tell. Woo! Wow. Woo! the best ride I've ever had on that coaster. That was brilliant. The fact that it's so hot, like 34 degrees Celsius, I really feel like that's just helped that run even faster. That was brilliant. You know me, I've never been a massive fan of this coaster. You know, don't get me wrong, I've always enjoyed it, but it's not been one of my favorite GCIs. That was brilliant. That was running really, really well. And that competes with Troy and Woden for me there, with how that was running. Brilliant. Two on-ride POVs there from Yoris, George and the Dragon. What did you think? Oh, I absolutely loved it. It was a really good ride. It was so fast. That is the best ride I've ever had on it, just. I mean, both of them rides were great, but that one just was absolutely fantastic. Like, what a brilliant ride on that was on the on the water side there. Obviously, you've got fire and water. Uh, but that was brilliant. So how would you rank it against other GCIs? I think it's a really good one. It's not my favourite. I prefer Wicker Man, but yeah. What about like Roden and Troy? Oh, I love Roden. Yeah. That's my favourite. Yeah, and what about Troy? Would you rate it over that? Or? See, I wouldn't rate it over Troy because we had some really good night rides on it earlier yeah. on the trip. But still, it's a really good ride. Yeah, I mean, I've appreciated it more as well, as, especially since I've just been over to the States and done a lot of GCIs over there. Some of them were quite weak. Uh, don't get me wrong, a couple of them I would say I enjoyed more than that. However, um, yeah, it's a really good solid roller coaster. Just want to say crowd levels today. We've been in the park an hour and a half. What well, we've done six roller coaster rides, haven't we? We've had two on that. Uh, obviously, Flying Dutchman, Baron, and Bob. So, up next, we're going on Python. Now, Charlotte over here, right? She didn't enjoy this last time. You found it a bit too rough, didn't you? Yeah. And, uh, well, you'd be pleased to know it's been fully retracked. Yeah. So, there we go. Like, basically, they started doing the, from the top of the lift hill to the brake run. Obviously, the, that's smooth. It didn't need any work doing to it. And, yeah, they've completely retracted it. So, you're in for a good time. Yeah, you actually see the join actually for how it's been done. Um, yeah, I tell you, like, it wasn't exactly from the top of the lift. This, they kept this first little bit as well, and you can see it on the drop where the join was. But it's a lot smoother now. I think you'll enjoy it a lot more. Um, I hope so. <laughs> bear in mind, it, it, you know, Charlotte's done the trains that it's running now with the vests and stuff. Uh, but yeah, you've not actually done it since it's uh, been fully retracked. So yeah, we'll go on and uh, yeah, take you along for the ride on Python 1981 Vacoma Looping Coaster. Off we go on Python. We're on the front row. We've waited less than 10 minutes. Worth pointing out when it's really busy here at F-Telling, you have to get a timed ticket to go on Python. Oh, that breeze is good. Ready for the slowest lift hill now. Hey. Oh. Oh, we're getting too fast here. Come on, slow us down, slow us down. That's it. Thank you, thank you. It's better. Yeah. <laughs> here we are. Climbing up. But yeah, I really appreciate the fact that F Telling retrapped this, and you actually notice uh, the join in the track. Uh, I'll point it out for you in just a moment when we go down the drop. Yeah, all well, the lifter and everything obviously didn't really have too much wear and tear on these rides. Obviously, the chains get replaced uh, when they need to. 
uh, and things like that, you know, so they didn't need to actually change the, the track itself. Yeah, and obviously it's had the new trains on here. It's ran various different uh, trains on here over the years. But yeah, it's the perfect combination now with the retrack, with these trains. Offers a really nice, smooth ride experience. Done really well for rides. Been very close to heavy morning, but of course we've got loads to come. Extra entertainment and of course the dark rides, a big part of this park. We love the dark rides, including Symbolica, Fata Morgana, Dream Flight, and so much more. Let's go. So... Get ready, it's gonna be nice and smooth, Charlotte. I'll show you the join. The join is coming up on this drop. It is just here, and now. Whoa. Oh, it's so smooth. Lovely. Oh, whoa, sharp breaking. <laughs> Tell you what though, that's so nice that is. It runs like a dream. What a classic Python here at FTLA, 1981. And obviously that work was completed early, 2018. Right then, how was your ride on Python? Yeah, it was really smooth. I'm just not a fan of the best restraints. Yeah, you're not a big fan of those. But it's a great ride, isn't it? Like, you know, they kept the classic going. And talking of great things, Charlotte's about to have one of her favorites. Here we go. So you get these vending machines here, and obviously they cut the food all in there. And obviously you can buy stuff around to the side there as well if you want a full menu, a full meal. But yeah, here, there we go. You just put the money in, and then you can select your items. So here we go. One chicken snack for Charlotte. And we are 195, you put your money in, and then the little door opens, and then, you, oh, it's a hot chicken snack. Oh yeah, loads is available. You don't just have chicken, you got a cheese snack, you got meat I snack. Had cheese snack before. But you prefer that. You've got a noodle snack over there. Minced meat snack. Well here we go. Charlotte has gone for the chicken snack and it's food time. It's 10 to 12. We've done loads this morning, haven't we? Really good, like fantastic. Right, Charlotte's gonna eat that. Then we'll get our little thoughts on it. Whoa, straight in there. Is it good? Have you missed the chicken snack? She loves it, bless her, what a cutie. Right, let's go and get some food for me. Oh, it is always wonderful to see the Palace of Fantasy, Symbolica, here at F Telling. And again, this looks like it's got a walk on queue. What a brilliant day for it today. Parks open to 11. I think it's just the heat, to be honest. I think that's been the theme this week for a lot of people. It's been a bit too hot for them. We might see an increase in visitors later. We're just powering um, through. But yeah, we're powering through. I mean, when you've booked a trip, you have to keep going, don't you, Charlotte? Yes, you no matter what. We love this, don't we? That is a brilliant dart ride. It's actually one of my favourite rides in the world, this. Oh, Symbolica, uh, a fantastic dart ride, trackless system, three different ride experiences on there, um, and it opened in 2017. Yeah, it's an absolutely gorgeous ride. It's all got this wonderful show building that's themed absolutely beautifully. Wow, look at that. The sun's shining perfect on it as well Even from this angle. What a shot! Yeah, <laughs> we, we love it, don't we? I mean, the thing with this ride as well, you can understand it no matter what language you speak, anybody can get enjoyment from this. That is not the rule. <laughs> it's against the rules. There we are. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Some funny quotes in here. Of course, all based around the park mascots as well. Let's go and ride Symbolica. I think uh, probably do a few rides on this today. Probably start with Treasures Tour. Um, I really do enjoy that one, probably my personal favourite. But all three tours are great and all offer something a little bit different. Um, but yeah, look at this. I must say the landscaping around here uh, has grown really nice since we first came. Um, so it looks absolutely gorgeous. It really does. And of course, it's going to be fully air conditioned in here. So yeah, I'm more than happy about that. Wow, and there's Pagode going up just behind it as well. That fits in with the building beautifully. Welcome in Symbolica. Heeft u de regels gehoord en goed begrepen? Mooi. Belangrijk. U zult zo dadelijk namelijk oog en oog. Hup! Wat is er? Wat een toverkwikkels! Hallo allemaal! Onze koning kan het over, maar. Wat een saaie boel! Pre-show there, isn't it? With 
the stairs opening up. Do love the spinning ride vehicle down there. And this is the point where you choose your different tour. Music, heroes or treasures. I think we'll start with treasures. Have a bit of a sparkle, like I say, we'll definitely be coming back on here later. And there's full POVs, complete experience videos from all the different tours here on Symbolica. Here on Theme Park Worldwide. Let's go. Here we are leaving the station. Wow. Everything about this ride, the soundtracks, all the smaller details. And here we go, enjoy the ride.
that ride on Symbolica, absolutely wonderful. What a gorgeous tour ride, isn't it? It's amazing, it's such a good ride. So many details in there, the soundtrack, the fact that the ceiling, the floors themed, everything just looks amazing in that ride. And again, just referencing the USA road trip, some brilliant coasters, but nothing quite like that in terms of an overall experience. It's all the little details, it's yeah. just stuff everywhere that have really thought about that mm. ride. It's just gorgeous and you know, it's fun for all the family, that attraction, you can go on there. I could sit on it all day and not get bored. And every time I go on it, I've probably done it, what, maybe 30 times now since it opened in 2017. And every time you go on it, you notice more details on there. Absolutely wonderful. You're taller than me. <laughs> Crazy. But yeah, it still sits there, one of my favorite ever dark rides in the world. And I think it's gonna be there for a long time, to be honest. A lot of these parks now tend to build a lot of dark rides with screens. In there, it's, you know, there's no focus on that at all. It's big theming and the fact that um, you've got the actual whale that comes down behind uh, the glass. It's not a screen, that is a large animatronic on there. a whale! It's a massive animatronic and the fact that, you know, all the water um, cracks all the glass and then you actually feel water drip down from the ceiling and, you know, it's all them little details in Symbolica. And that finale where you're all dancing around, the smell pods in there coming from all the food makes me hungry, love it. But anyway, just come for a little walk around the diorama just here with this wonderful model railway. There we are. Yeah, that is, again, this has got so many details in. You know me, I love all our miniatures. And we're on our way down to Carnival Festival and also Vogel Rock. We thought we'll just pop in here and have a quick cool off again. But yeah, you've got all the cars that are running on a little track. The boats move down here as well. Obviously, you've got all the trains that are running around as well. It goes around the other side. Yeah, cable cars are lovely here. That fly's getting in on the action there. You see him crawling up the glass. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah symbolic of what a ride. If you've never been here to F Telling, it's worth it just for that one ride alone. And you've got all the rest of the park as well to enjoy. That ride is stunning. And they spent 35 million euros on that ride. And they got an absolute bargain, in my opinion. World-class dart ride. One of the best in the world little fairground there and everything. Circus. All the floating mountains down here. It kind of reminds me of Pandora, the world of Avatar. Something that Charlotte's gonna to get to experience very soon. How many days that's been today? 56 days, obviously it's even less than that by the time you guys are watching this on YouTube. We'll be saying next month. Um, you know, because you're watching this in August, and of course, we're going to be, uh, you know, going in September, so there we are. Yeah, wonderful, isn't it? Right, we're going to make our way up towards Carnival Festival. There's had a bit of a refurbishment, a few changes. I'll talk more about that when we're up there. And also Vogel Rock. Right then, so we've made it down to Vogel Rock, which is the big bird over there. When I was here at Christmas, I had a Santa hat on, didn't you, you big bird? <laughs> I think you'd love winter F telling, Charlotte. I had to come at some point in the future, bring you over for it. And we stayed on site and it was wonderful. Had a few days. But first we're gonna go on Carnival Festival before we do the uh, indoor coaster. Yeah, this is just open recently after a bit of a refurbishment um, where they've upgraded a couple of the scenes, keeping it up with the times. So yeah, we'll go on and see what changes we got. It's a good fun ride this with the soundtrack. That's my favorite part of this, it's the music to it. And uh, yeah, it might not be the most heavily themed ride, but it's a classic here at the park. Obviously you've got the tree just there as well that <laughs> runs up through the middle of the building. Gotta keep the tree, protect the environment. And here we go, it's gonna ride on Carnival Festival. That's who we're going to go and see. Down there. there I am, <laughs> vlogging in Paris. Loads more 
changes in here than I was expecting. Audio transitions a lot better between the scenes as well. the changes there in Carnival Festival. It's updated the ride, you can tell they've replaced some of the older lighting and um, with LEDs now. The soundtrack has changed in a few areas and it just sounds better quality in a lot of parts of the ride. There was a couple of corridors used to go around like where the walls have come in a little bit um, in some of the smaller scenes and it used to feel a bit blank in terms of the audio um, yeah, and they've fixed that problem uh, which is good. Obviously they've changed a couple of the scenes about in there. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. Good to get on Carnival Festival and uh, yeah, you know, it's just a really nice Nice family ride, isn't it? And the soundtrack makes it for me. This park has probably got the best theme park music ever. Like, I love it. Every ride has got like a really nice, authentic soundtrack. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Up next, then, you've got to watch your head, Charlotte, because they're going to nick no, your cap. No, please yeah. don't. <laughs> As we go on Vogel Rock, the parts for Coma Indoor Coaster that opened in 1998. You're not going to see much on the GoPro. It's a bit dark in there. But here we go. It's time to fly with the Vogels. Right, here we go. Watch out for those birds. Pesky little creatures they are. Oh! Woo! Oh my God. Like I say, you're not gonna see much, but I'll put a little snippet in for you. Whoa, the birds are coming in. Satisfying soundtrack, here we go. Oh, I love it. We've got to go around again whilst it's this quiet on the bird rock. So we just had our ride on Vogel Rock. Love it. You can't really see anything at all on the GoPro in there. Um, you know, some real subtle effects and mostly uh, UV style lighting in there. So you can't really see it at all. Uh, but it's a brilliant ride that. One of my favorite effects is just on the lift deal. Bit of smoke at the side. Just really makes you feel like you're going a lot higher uh, than what you actually are. Uh, but we're having a lovely day, aren't we, Charlotte? Yes, we're having a lovely day. Sean's just bought me a treasure chest ice cream. Yeah, nice ice cream, haven't we? I treat you every so often, haven't we? You know, <laughs> you know, she didn't go on any rides last night at the fair other than one. So, you know, I did say I'd pay for it to go on some, but, you know, even some of the smaller ones. I know you don't like your intense rides, but, no. you know, this part, though, every time I come back to f telling I enjoy it more and more. I really do. And we're going to continue now doing a couple more indoor rides. Firstly, Villa Volta, the prototype. The original, the Coma Madhouse. And as much as I think it's a little bit too pre-show heavy, this personally, I can see why when it opened, they wanted to make a bit of a big deal of it with it being the first one. Uh, obviously, the Coma are a Dutch company and they wanted to put it into uh, the biggest park in the Netherlands, of course. So here we go, it's gonna have a ride on here and then we'll head on to Dream Flights just next door. 
So we've got Fata Morgana to come as well. A walk through the fairy tale forest, Piranha Rapids, and so much more. And we saw the end of the night, but the dark was from the spoor. But in eens, in the verte, a great gebouw, the Abdei van Bosten, wisten wij. So we've made it through the two pre-shows. That would be wonderful, but obviously we don't understand it. I'd love to learn Dutch just to fully appreciate those pre-shows. Because you know me, I do like a bit of story. Just goes on for a little bit too long in my opinion. But when you get in here, it is beautiful. Really nice. I think it was Martin what said it before when we came. But he really likes how it's a much brighter like colour scheme in here than a lot of madhouses where it's very dark. All the white walls, all the chandeliers. And this awesome soundtrack that's kicking about now, here we go. My favorite part of the soundtrack coming up now. Are ready for the beat to drop in? In three, two, one, and. Yeah! <laughs> get your flute out, get your violins out, get all your instruments out for this bit. Then, so we just come off Villa Volta. I do love the soundtrack on there. When you get onto the ride itself, it's beautiful. I mean, all the theming in there, lovely to look at, isn't it? Just a weird little man in there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, in the second part of the pre-show. Um, you know, I have read into the backstory, like on Wikipedia actually, and it does tell you the full story, of course, in English. And uh, it's got a brilliant, fascinating story behind that ride. Obviously, I think it would be nice for Eftalon to go back to it and maybe enhance it a little bit in there. And I feel like what they've done with other attractions such as Symbolica and putting a little bit of English in there mixed with it all as it makes everybody enjoy it and as F telling are going more international trying to get more international visits I think it'd be good for them to go back and, and do that yeah. I tell you what I'm really really feeling it at this moment yeah. in time I think maybe because we've got all these dark rides one minute we're going into the cool next minute we're going back out into the hot it's like you know say that there was no air conditioning in there was there no. it was hot in the madhouse but what we're we going on next Charlotte Light. And do you want to have fun facts about this ride? Go. It's the same age as me. It was built in 1993, this was, so it's 26 years old. And when you go on it, this is still in pristine condition. It is a beautiful dark ride. ride. Normally this gets a big queue. Um, it has got a cattle pen. That's the thing with some of these older rides here, they do have cattle pen queues, but you know, they've kind of gone away from that um, as they've moved forward. I mean, Symbolic has got a little bit of one, but it's all split up. Um, you know I me, mean? I'm not a big fan of like cattle pen queues where you just go up and down, up and down. And this is a big one in here. Um, however, um, you know, it looks like we're gonna be pretty much getting straight on. It's had a 10 minute wait. So we can't complain at all the wait times all trip, can we? Like, we've had some low queue times. We've done loads. Um, you know, all them rides on Untamed yesterday. And wow, yeah, really good trip. Yeah, here's your big cattle pen, look. <laughs> yeah, literally it's not even 10 minutes, it's walk on. At least it's themed in here. Yeah, this is gorgeous. So many brilliant dark rides here. And let's go on Dreamfly. So Dreamflux, as it's called over here.
absolutely wonderful ride this. Got some lovely smells in here as well that really add to it. Wonderful ride there on Dream Flights here at Efteling. It's a gorgeous ride that is, and so many details to look at. The scale of the scenes in there is incredible as well. The show scenes that you go through, uh, they're huge. I mean, you imagine going on there as a kid and like looking out over it all. It must be spectacular. I mean, it's amazing for us at 26 years old to be going on that, but if you're a little kid, you'd be amazed, wouldn't you, with all the scenes? Yeah, it's a gorgeous ride, isn't it? Really good. Really it's nice. Magical. Magical. That's the so, thing with F telling. It's all about the magic and they capture that just right. So we've come into the fairy tale forest. Yes. To find the man with the giant neck. <laughs> yeah, and also to go and see Mildred, Mildred the, goat. the Goat. Yeah, we just made up the name, by the way. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so we've come for a walk through the forest. Uh, this is a huge part of this park. You could spend hours and hours walking around here, and we have done in previous vlogs. So make sure you check them out. Of course, we've only got the one day here this time, but we thought we'd come for a little walk through and uh, come and see some of our favourite scenes. And uh, yeah, come and see the goat as well. It's not oh real. My God, but... it's a magic carpet. Oh, you've never seen this because yeah. when we came, th this was closed for refurbishment. Wow. I was spinning around, then you get to see our friend up here. Look at this. Oh, there he is, and he just flies over between these two buildings here. It was completely refurbished a couple of years ago. It's very nice, and he goes in there, and then he comes back across this way. And Hex wilde in het kasteel van Assepoester wonen. Dus Assepoester werd daar uitgezet. Toen gingen Hex en Bol. <laughs> right, it wouldn't be a visit to F Telling without coming to see our favourite donkey and getting a little souvenir. So here we go, the money's going in. 50 cents. Charlotte's going to get a souvenir for the day. Out of the donkey's bum. So here we go. Lift up the tail and hey, there you go. Let's have a look at your souvenir. It's got a random man on it with legs. There you go. That's it. How do you feel about that? It's lovely. There you go. We're going to continue walking around this way because we've still got to go and see Milk. the goats and also stretchy neck. Oh, we've got to go and see that stretchy neck. <laughs> we have yeah. indeed. We've just been looking at all the entertainment for tonight. Looks like there's going to be loads to see. So that'll be coming also up. loads of special food. Special food. We've actually just had. I've had a muffin and an ice cream. I had a Solero. It's been a ride. And a drink. Yeah, I've just spent like eight euros on snacks, but who cares? Summer. I'm enjoying it. Having a good day. Wait till you see what I'm going to buy later. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. So here we see Charlotte amazed by the goat tea party that is currently going on just behind us. Oh my god, look at the bagel that's just come out of the clock. All the goats are sitting at the table waiting for all the hot dogs, they've got to be dry. Looks like they're playing Monopoly. Playing Monopoly? Yeah. All the goats, there they are. They're all smiling, but be careful because someone's coming in to spoil the party. This guy out here is coming in. You leave them goats alone. Get back. Leave the goats. But our favourite goats around this way. Come with us. Oh, hello, Mildred. How are you? I've got someone who wants to meet you. Someone who's missed you very, very, very much. Here she is. Mildred! Hello! What's in the baskets? Nothing. Nothing in the baskets. Hello, Mildred, how are you? 
You have a nice day. I'm very well, thank you, Charlotte. You symbolic for today. No. Oh my god, it was a shrew. A what? A shrew. <laughs> How do you feel that you've seen the goats? Oh, it's lovely to see some goats again. Better than the real ones. Why aren't you at the tea party, Mildred? <laughs> Watching out for the wolf. Wolf's on the other side, gonna eat your friends. Go <laughs> and get the wolf and we'll see you later. Let's go I'm and see Stretchy neck. neck. Whoa, here he is. Stretchy Neck, yeah. There we are. Oh, it's decreasing a little bit now. Look at that, he has got one huge neck. <laughs> and you know what he does? He peeks over the top to the rooftops. <laughs> Look at that neck. What do you think to that, Charlotte? Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Right, we're going to make our way out of the forest and over towards Fata Morgana. Next ride coming up. I absolutely love the soundtrack of Fata Morgana. Yes, this is a brilliant dark ride built in 1986. Always looks wonderful in the sunshine around here, doesn't it? This plaza, especially in the summer, all the trees. Lovely, yeah, it's a fantastic ride. Looks very quiet. Nobody waiting outside, straight into the station. Let's go on this wonderful dark ride. Hey. Here we go, enjoy your ride on Fata Morgana. So we've just had two consecutive rides on Fata Morgana. We didn't have to leave the boat, which was very nice. 
I love that dark ride. So many details in there. Again, the scale of some of the scenes is brilliant. Uh, what do you think, Charlotte? It's such a good ride. I love my dark ride. There's just so much to see, so much going on. Yeah, I mean, the things with something like that, you may get distracted by some of the larger things going on in some of the scenes. The smaller but details. Yeah, that you need to look it at. is. Look at the smaller details. Like, instead of just looking forward, like turn around a little bit and, and see what's going on. But yeah, it's a great ride. Really nice story behind it as well. Um, with all that Arabian theme in. And the best scene in there is when you've got um, like the Emperor, you know, sat there in his chair and they're all patting him down. Uh, it's brilliant, really, really nice ride. Some good smells in there. This very, very addictive soundtrack. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Right, we're gonna carry on with our day here at Efteling. In terms of the temperature, it's gonna be getting a bit cooler this evening. Yes! So, apparently it's gonna go down to 22 by the time we watch Aquanora tonight. And it is the Tiesto version that we're gonna get to watch, which is brilliant. So it's got like a dubstep mix to it. Very different to what Efteling normally do. So I look forward to that this evening. Okay then, up next it's time to go on Piranha. This is the park's Intamin Rapids ride. We'll open in 1983. Got a great soundtrack again this one. Makes me want to just dance around. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I love it. Got a bit of a hose pipe attached on there because of the extreme temperatures. It's not normally there. Here we go, wait about 10 minutes. Not bad for a hot day. Charlotte's not coming on this one. She doesn't want to get soaked. I don't blame her, so I'll take you guys on. Got the GoPro. Let's go for a wet ride on Veranda. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go, straight in with a soaking for the hose pipe. Oh, oh lovely. What a nice start. <laughs> oh, oh, that's still going off. I was here at Toverland the other day. They kept the uh, big waterfall on. I thought they might have done that here. There we go, it's a good rapids this, elaborately themed. When they first built it, it actually opened a year later than planned because of all that theming around. It's very, very nice. Lots to look at, especially when we get a little bit further around the layout. <laughs> Whoa, choppy waters now. Here we go, here comes the mega wave. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. I'm glad I wasn't sat in that seat. Blimey. <laughs> yeah, you got a bit of stagnant water around that corner back there where the waterfall is. And yeah, it gets a bit choppy around here. It's not the fastest rapids, this one, but it has got a few points where you do get soaked. Do love all that. Hashtag rock work all the way around. Oh, I've not said that for a while. Yeah, there's some great theming. This is where it gets really good around here and these big wave machines. Yeah, I don't blame Charlotte for not coming up. She didn't want to get all the shoes wet, especially because this evening it's actually going to be going a bit cooler, so I don't blame her. It was a bit northern accent then, wasn't it? There we go, a few water effects. Very nice. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, I think I'm safe. I'm all right. Oh, you do not want to be over there. Whoa. Here we are down to the main waterfalls. Quite a long ride though, this one. It looks like there's actually some people over there with, oh, I think they've got buckets actually. That looks interesting. I think this could be staff. So maybe they've uh, thought about it and put some uh, staff down there. Gotta be a bit extra wet because of the hot temperatures. Oh. Oh. Oy, big waterfalls. Yeah, loads to look at. Oh, they're in a bit of stagnant water there, number 25. Here we go, round to this bit. Oh, I think they've gone off. They were standing round here just, saw them. Chucking a bit of water over, that's a shame. There we go, got that water effect. That's it, round to the end of the ride on Piranha. Not that wet there, Charlotte would have been all right. 
Oh, I did enjoy that ride there on Piranha. I didn't get that wet though, so you'd have been all right, Charlotte, on there. I had a nice relax with my shoes and socks <laughs> on. Let a bit of air get to your feet. I don't yeah. blame you like she's doing just now as well. So we've made our way for the start of the evening celebrations. So here we are on the main street just here that leads up from the entrance of the park down to Symbolica, uh, ready for the parade. So never seen the parade before. I didn't even know until today they had a parade. When I came in summer a few years ago, they definitely didn't, um, you know, so I'm looking forward to this. So this is the start of the evening celebrations now. Are you a bit tired? Yeah. Don't worry, we've only got five hours left. Um, yeah, it's the start of the evening celebration. So we see our favorite. Yes, it starts down at the F Telling Theatre, makes its way, which is down by the lake, you know, near the entrance and where Aquanora is, makes its way all the way down here up to a Symbolico, which is just around the corner. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the parade. Of course, I'll put some highlights in over the next few minutes. Um, we know it's got like, gonna have some loud audio and stuff because they've just done an announcement. I don't know if we're gonna have some floats or anything in it, really. I mean, I'm assuming if it's a parade, there's gonna be a couple of floats, but I've just not heard much from it. So normally there's something big like entertainment wise people message me and say oh Sean make sure you check this out and No one said I didn't know it was existed. So I'm looking forward to seeing the parade. You excited? Yes. <laughs> You're right there. You're doing a little dance. There is a wasp. Oh a bit of wasp activity. Yeah. Uh, but here we go coming up over the next few minutes highlights from the parade here at Efteling. Just saw some footage there from the parade here at F Selling. Quite a short one. There was only like the one live float at the start. You can tell it's maybe something new what they're going into, and it'd be good to see them expand it further because um, it's actually a really good parade route down there, isn't it? Uh, they maybe have to take out a couple of the fountains and stuff if you want to have some bigger floats. Um, but yeah, they could. Like all the like performers were what are doing all the shows tonight, weren't they? Um, yeah, there was no like Pardus in there, no uh, mascot, which is a shame. Unless he does something different. Uh, there's meet and greets tonight for him. We know that. Um, yeah, if you haven't guessed already from this, here we are, we're on Pagode. Charlotte's just had some really nice food. I had some really nice food from the Chinese place. What did you have? By Pagode. I had chicken tikka and rice. It was very nice. I highly recommend it. There you go. It's just literally down here because here we are on Pagode Observation Tower. Oh, we're gonna get some really nice views but yeah it was a really good idea that with the parade in terms of all the people that uh, are doing the evening entertainment and um, we're in that and then afterwards they sort of split off and went to their own areas kind of thought it would have been nice if they'd have done uh, a bit of a show maybe out the front of symbolica because that's where the parade ended uh, that would have been quite nice and added to it but like i say it's something what they can expand on some point in the future there's the ridiculously long boat ride. Uh, the station's down here, it goes all the way around there, under and then round the island, back round. It takes like 20, 25 minutes. It's a long ride. You got loads of other rides over there. I mean, we've done all the major things here today. I always mention this when we come on here, but obviously symbolic as show building really shows how much they packed into. What isn't a, a huge building really when you compare it to some other dark rides? Ah, there we go. Oh, there's a little show. Yeah, that's what we were kind of expecting at the end of the parade. But yeah, lots of entertainment to see tonight. I'm looking forward to it. 
if you look back at the vlog from when I first came here in 2015, there was a big stage right where this show building is now for Symbolica. And uh, yeah, we saw like a big concert on there. Uh, they don't get like big acts in anymore like that. And it was also open until midnight, but it was only on the Saturday, whereas now it's home to 11 on the Friday and the Saturday throughout July and August. Oh, so. Our do slides are going to be running on in a minute down here. Can you see them? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got a behind the scenes look down there. There you go. But it is nice how all the show buildings themed, all the solar panels on the roof there for Symbolica. But yeah, we're going to have a walk around, have another ride on Symbolica. Um, like I said, I won't get any more footage from on it because I've filmed complete experiences on the channel before, so check those out. And obviously we went on earlier in the vlog. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll capture some of the entertainment tonight. We're going to watch Ravelin, which is in the big theatre over there. Shows how big the park is. All of this is the fairy tale forest, this whole massive area that comes all the way around there. And obviously around this way you can see the building for Vogel Rock, um, which is the big pyramid style building. Down there you can customise your own Magnum, that's all open down there. That's part. The, if you watch the Christmas vlog, there was a big tent with an ice skating ring and like a snow slide, that was all down there on that grass. As Vogel Rock, the building for that's not huge is it really? And the F Telling Hotel just behind it. Yeah, like I say, we'll come down from Pagode shortly, have another ride on Symbolica, and then we'll take a look round and see some of the uh, evening entertainment. Ravelin, of course, and Aquanora Tiesto to come up later in the vlog. There's a storm brewing. Oh, right behind Baron Acton Acton Aiken. <laughs> yeah, on a serious note, here we go, the storm's coming. Here we are, it said tomorrow we might get a storm, but not today. But it looks like we're going to get one. Set another ride on Symbolica, did the Heroes Tour this time. Sure we'll have one more go later on and do the music. Yeah, we're going to get a bit of food, we're going to have fish and chips just from down here before the storm comes in. According to the weather app, it's going to last about an hour. If so, re-rides on Vogel Rock. Yeah, the good thing is that this part though, there's so many indoor attractions, it won't really affect the day too much. You know, it's not like it's just full of coasters, which is good. Um, yeah, we can do re-rides. The reason I said Vogel Rock is because you can just go round without having to uh, come out. Oh yeah, yeah, it'd be nice to be fair. But yeah, I'm going to get a bit of food and uh, yeah, we'll give you a bit of a storm update. If there's anything to film later, maybe we'll get a bit of a lightning storm. Who knows? Ah, oh, this is what we wanted. It started to rain. The storm is coming in and the lightning is like right over the park. So we'll try and capture it in just a moment. Oh, there's so already see all the flash then. Uh, my lenses on, on the camera, on my glasses. But you're right there, Charlotte. Oh, hello there. Uh, this is nice, isn't it? Oh. This is what we've wanted here. Like, this is lovely. Um, so yeah, of course, attractions have closed. Um, but there was none of this, you know, all the storm needs, you know, it's 20 miles away, let's close. Literally, the trains were going round on Barrow, weren't they, loaded. Yeah. And then as soon as that first lightning strike went, bam, that was it, closed. Uh, of course, safety is paramount, but yeah, outdoor attractions are closed. Great thing with this part, though, so many indoor rides. So yeah. we're going up towards uh, Carnival Festival and Vogel Rock. I'm looking on the app. It seems like they've changed some of the show times because of the weather. Parks are open until 11, but they've moved around some of the show times, it seems. So yeah. hopefully we're still going to get to see Ravelin. Of course, it isn't going to run if there's still lightning, but maybe uh, by the time that comes around later, they've moved that show earlier. Same with Aquanora as well, the fountain show. And they've moved that earlier a little bit. So we'll see what happens. We'll hopefully try and capture Still stuff. That there's going to be a show for Ravelin at half go. past eight. So half past eight. It's earlier than what we was going to watch, so it might not be as dark. But we really want to see Ravelin, don't we? Yes. We love it. So yeah, a lot of the rides, all the outdoors rides are actually closed at the moment. Yeah, as expected. As expected. And we've got all these different dark rides and Vogel Rock. So we're going to go out there. Just thought I'd show you this little area that's open for the summer. And we are, so you can uh, design your own Magnum for uh, four euros fifty so, at the top. So, I'm going to have one of these design your own Magnums. <laughs> Toppings look a bit strange, like strange. lotus flowers, stuff like that. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. Nah, no, but some but nice units. Too badly priced. No. For a, a custom. custom. Similar to the swirls, aren't they, that we've had oh, in some of the other days. <laughs> but yeah, you got all sorts here. You got like a burger oh. stand and all this is here just for summer. Like I say, it's like the seasonal field this where winter they put the ice skating ring on and um, you know they always change it up depending on the season but yeah we'll try and capture as much of the entertainment as we can do <laughs> got that on his head and um, we'll head around this way go and have another couple of rides do carnival festival Vogel rock and just make the best of it you know save just paramount i'm enjoying this though like this is nice isn't it yeah. oh you're right you're like, what was that then the looking at the food i don't think leaning forward a little bit is going to help but yeah well there we go 
we'll uh, see what happens. I think the bar's really going to filter out now. It was quiet earlier um, because and now look at Vogel's it. Vogel's got a big queue now. You reckon? Ten minutes. Oh no. Hopefully we're still going to see some entertainment. I mean, there's a band set up on this stage. Well done, I'm the entertainment. Ring, yeah, ring, she's ring, 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 ring. Why do you sound like the crazy frog? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this band's all set up on here. I just heard like the Hawaiian entertainment down by Piranha. So yeah, definitely uh, capture a bit of that at, uh, throughout the evening. Da, 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 da. I love it. Look at this. <laughs> All singing a bit of the soundtrack there for Carnival Festival. Rain has stopped. What an atmosphere. Yeah, we like this, don't we? We just had a ride on Vogel Rock. Carnival Festival. Love it. Right then, Charlotte is on a little exclusive ride here. You're on a carousel, but what are you sitting on? I believe this is the Emperor of the Goat World. Yeah, it's a goat carousel, but there's something a bit weird about this carousel because you're probably thinking, why am I standing so close to the ride area whilst it's going round? The reason is I'm pushing it and that lady's pushing it over there as well. Uh, yeah, it's one of the self-operated attractions here at the park. So there we are. This cycle could go on all day if you want. And I'm walking around getting these shoes covered in sand. Thank you. <laughs> this is Mildred from earlier. Mildred. Oh, you got a little smile on your face, haven't you? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm covered in sand a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to have my shoelace. But, oh, she's going. <laughs> But yeah, it does seem like the storm is passing. And we're not too sure, <laughs> so we just spoke with some people at Ravelin, we're not too sure what's happening in terms yeah. of the shows. It seems like... My app seems to be a bit... I don't know whether it's because I'm on a British phone or... Yeah. I'm not sure. The app seems to be different to what other people, other people have got on their app. I don't know if it's because I'm on a British I think it's our, it's our phones, isn't it? To be honest, I've not downloaded it, but we think it's, it's Charlotte's phone, which is understandable. Here we are, dispatch. Thumbs up, please. Oh, oh I'm going yeah. to investigate the rest of the playground. <laughs> it's faster, but yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, I mean, we're having a nice day. We've done loads of rides today. It's been great. We've seen a bit of entertainment there, more to come. Uh, and yeah, we just spoke to them guys down the entrance. They seem to think raveling, as long as there's no storm overhead, Raveling will be taking place at 9.30, which is the original show, uh, which means it's going to be pitch black. Like, it'll be brilliant, so I really hope so. Um, yeah, the 8.30 one isn't on, but apparently that was never supposed to be. It's just an issue with the app or Charlotte's phone. We don't really know, so we'll see what happens with that one. Um, but yeah, it seems like we might get Raveling. As long as the storm uh, comes to an end, we might get it at 9.30, because it's spectacular at night. And Aquanora is also at the normal time, as it should be, at uh, quarter to 11. A carousel where I had to push us round to one that actually does it for us. This wonderful traditional carousel here at F Telling. It's all indoors here, it's wonderful. It's actually near earlier on in the vlog where we saw the uh, indoor model railway. It's inside there, and I really like this. Obviously, with that traditional organ as well. But where's Charlotte? She's here. Whoa, you got two horses there, Charlotte. No, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mine's not a horse, it's a pig. It's not a pig. Oh. I love it. Yeah, we thought we'll stay in the area in case Raveling's on at 9.30. It's all like the storm's moving away, but obviously safety first with the animals and stuff in there as well. So we'll see what happens, but there we go. What a lovely carousel. I really like this. Yeah, Charlotte's loving it. Love all this entertainment. I was we saw that old by Carnival Festival. We got this here now, outside Raveling, still saying 21.30, so hopefully. Oh, come on, kick them legs, that's it. Hey! Hey! 
la 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 Right then, so here we are at Ravelin. Yes, we're gonna to get to see the show, and it's gonna be pretty dark for it as well, which is great. So, you never seen this at night, have you? No, I love the show as well. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant, a heavily story-based show uh, with lots of special effects, uh, all the fire, honestly, it's brilliant. But we're actually sitting somewhere a little bit special, thanks to <laughs> a wonderful staff member who we were chatting to, who's a big fan of the channel, and came up to us and said, happy anniversary, because we had not mentioned it today, but it's actually our sixth anniversary yesterday, when we was at Wallaby Holland, a special day for us. And uh, yeah, he congratulated us yeah. and said, come with me, follow us, and uh, gave me this ticket just here, a VIP ticket. And we're actually sat in the VIP area Yay. for Ravelin, which is really kind. So Charlotte is in the, in, the uh, in the throne. There we are. There's all the other seats here. Yeah, we get a little uh, get a little cushion as well. Yeah, as you can see, everybody else is sat over there, and we get the VIP seats. We're, we're in here on our own at the moment. I don't know if anybody else will be coming in, but there we go. How nice is that? That's lovely. Thank you so much. Thank we really you. appreciate it. And of course, coming up over the next few minutes, here's some highlights from Ravelin. But it's going to be pretty dark by the end of the show when all the fires really kick it in. It's going to be pretty much fully dark. So here we go. And I'm the emperor. <laughs> it's time for Ravelin. Yeah, best friends, sorry that I'm here so come in and fall. I'm going to do the whole day on zoek at my children. Ja, het zit namelijk zo, maar wonen hier een stukje verderop, de oude herberg. Ja, dan loopt het vroeg zijn ze vertrokken. En ik weet weer eens van niks natuurlijk, hè. Maar ja, niks. Ik weet inmiddels al wel dat ze met z'n handen... Happy Halloween! 
screen now and move forward. I had a little light in the floor, so we just watched Raveling and it was brilliant. Yeah, really and there was a bit of an issue with the floor, um, which we did find out before going in actually, uh, because of the rain uh, that we had in the storm, there were some issues with the floor. So the yeah. horses came from around the side and and the people came around the side instead of through the floor but all the fire was working great obviously the structure lifting up the huge animatronic in there it's absolutely brilliant. ginormous first time seeing it at night it was brilliant at night the fire was just sensational seeing mm. it as well where we were sat as well you've really felt the heat directly in the middle yeah, really uh, but it's a great show. show i definitely recommend if you are going to watch it sitting just off to the left instead of just off to the right i feel like personally you see more uh, in them seats uh, we will probably never sit there again in the middle will we but it was a nice experience. We got the little souvenir, haven't we? To say so. A big thank you to the guys over at Ravelin for that. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Anyway, we've got about 45 minutes to go until Aquanora. So we're going to get moving, hopefully, get a night ride in on Baron if it's not too busy. If it's busy, we won't bother because we've really got, got to see Aquanora tonight. And we'll have a walk around, hopefully, catch some of the more entertainment as well. What a nice atmosphere, and the storm has passed. Unfortunately, we're not going to get time to ride Baron tonight. It's a shame, but said on the app it had a five minute wait. We actually went there and had a look. And uh, yeah, it was a little bit longer than that, more like 20 minutes. And of course, that would give us five minutes to uh, do the ride itself, go through the pre-shows and uh, yeah, go over to see Aquanora Tiesto. So yeah, going to give it a miss. Just thought I'd show you this stage on the way down though, um, just so you can see it. Had some sort of show on here uh, tonight. Unfortunately, we've just not had the time to catch everything. But you know, we've done well for one day here at this park. We fit in a lot. Uh, I'll have a walk down here past Bob because there's another stage on the way down to Aquanora. And like I say, we're going to be watching the Tiesto version tonight, which is all like uh, dubstep and trance. It sounds amazing. Uh, mixed by Tiesto and of course, still got them classic uh, iconic tunes from the park in as well. So we'll see you down there in just a moment. <laughs> Oh, doesn't Fata Morgana look absolutely gorgeous with its lighting just behind us? We've made our way here to the lake, ready for tonight's showing of Aquanora Tiesto, which I'm very much looking forward to. Now we've got someone that we really want to introduce to you. Now, Charlotte was going to buy a tree, and I'm pretty sure she mentioned it in the vlog, last time yeah. a little tree what you plant and it's like the f selling tree from the forest and then we came here today and we saw something what we both really really liked and we're going to introduce you to him now here he is it is Panus. <laughs> yeah so we bought him it was a bit expensive but he's really good quality but right, you can't really see him in the best light let me carry you over here let's, let's carry him let's over. carry him over into the him. light there we go so you can see him a bit better <laughs> There you go, that is our new friend to take home, Pardus. And how do you feel to be on theme park worldwide? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, there we go. You gotta well, do his little belly. He's a bit of a shy boy, apparently. Oh, <laughs> there we go. But yeah, he's really nice quality. Like, look at his face and everything. It's not just like a normal soft toy. It's quite re really nice, isn't it? So, I mean, so we thought we'd get him as a little souvenir and then we can have him at home and sit him on the set -y. But you wanted this instead of the tree, didn't you, Charlotte? Yeah. A bit more special. They didn't have these last time, did they? Just... No, they only had the other ones and this one. We like this one. So we're going to take him back to England. Have you got a passport? No, it's not. We'll have to sort him one. But uh, there you go. Anyway, coming up over the next few minutes, the final part of our day here at F-Telling, it's time for Aquanora. You've never seen this at night before. And of course, we're going to get Tiesto. I've not seen this since 2015. So uh, here we go. Enjoy the show. Oh, 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 oh.
series of highlights there from Tiesto Aquanora having a bit of a rave. I tell you what, it's a very different atmosphere watching that show, isn't it, to the rest of the park? <laughs> Uh, like it's very you know interesting to see that they did that, but I love it. It's my favourite version of Aquanora. I think uh, both of the symphonies as well are really great, but that's just something spectacular at night uh, with all the lighting around, all the moving heads around the lake, uh, the fire effects in there as well. Um, yeah, I just think it's a really, really good, solid show. All the park tracks in there, Carnival Festival, Raveling, uh, some of my favourites, Yoris, it's all mixed together, uh, and I really liked it. How was it seeing it at night? See, I really like seeing it at night, but I feel like because it's on such a big scale, scale a lot of the time there's just a lot of mist mm. I do prefer the Katara yeah I prefer Katara at Toverland uh, yeah which is interesting because that's a much smaller show I but think because it's on a smaller scale you can see it a lot more but there's just a bit too much mist that's all there's a lot going spray, on isn't yeah. there but it, yeah, still, it's, it's an amazing show. show but I still prefer Katara there you go I mean we've had a fantastic day here at FTLA I think every time I come back here I enjoy it more and more you know we had a bit of a slow afternoon at one point with the weather but uh, you know at least this part has got all these different dark rides that can keep going and an indoor coaster so it doesn't really affect the day at all to be honest if you come here and you get storms all day yes you'd be disappointed but you're going to still get everything in in terms of all the indoor rides you can still walk around your fairy tale forest and yeah it's been absolutely incredible thanks for a lovely day charlotte and uh, yeah big thanks to ref telling us always for a lovely visit like i say we used our pass to come in today from blackpool so it's been a free day really hasn't it like yeah. it's been great 13 hour park day tomorrow we're going to be going to barbie and land to ride their new attraction which is fury a gerslauer coaster so i look forward to riding it we're going to vote we go forwards or backwards oh. what do we do parties what do we do uh, well there we go thank you very much for watching my highlight of the day uh, has probably been getting on symbolica to be honest yes yeah, um, love that again. ride favorite ride here at the park uh, i don't know when i'll be back at f telling definitely next year uh, but you know i might come back for a winter f telling maybe that isn't a promise i know there's a lot of fans of uh, the channel who are from the netherlands we've met loads of fans today just yes. want to say thanks to you all we love you in the netherlands uh, it's brilliant um yeah maybe winter f telling i'd like to do that this year um, um, but we'll see what happens. It all depends on dates and other things as well. But there we go. Thank you very much for joining me and Charlotte and Pardus here at FTELing. And that means it's time to cue those credits. See you at Bobby and Land. I thought this view was too nice for you all. But that means it's time to cue those credits. Bye, guys.